it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So how do I? You can see me <laughs> Yeah it's fine. It's fine. This looks like I'm um, like an interview. <laughs> it's not. This is the only place I can really sit down and talk to you without being interrupted by dogs or husband husbands, fiancés, <laughs> or uni work. Um, it's been a while <laughs> since we videoed anything. Um, just a lot has been going on. Not anymore. A lot was going on with just like, you can still hear the dogs barking. Oreo! Just a lot went on um, with like uni and Samuel's work and like, like just everything. It just got a bit too much. I got a new job, which only lasted a week because they were trying to put me in for shifts when I had uni classes and I was like, can't do that <laughs> so I had to leave that job so now I've got a new job um, to work part-time while I'm at uni it's just been a bit of a stress ball the past few months and obviously like, the wedding is coming in hot and fast if you can tell I'm not wearing my engagement ring nothing to do with excuse me nothing to do with me or Samuel it's my wedding ring is getting made so they have to send my engagement ring away come on then Oh my God. Is nice? They have to send my engagement ring away with. What was I saying? You've interrupted my train of thought, little Oreo. Right, what? Get down. Yeah, they've had to send my engagement ring away because I want my wedding ring made to look like. I don't actually know if I've ever shown you my engagement ring, but it's like a stone and then it's got like diamonds around the side of it and the diamonds like stop. I think there's nine diamonds or eight, four on each side and it stops. And I couldn't find a wedding band that matched that. So they have been sent away. I'm not gonna get my engagement ring back until December, mid-December. Which is weird because people that have been engaged or married and if they've ever not had their rings on, I feel like I've lost it. And I keep getting paranoid, but it's fine. If you see me in the next few vlogs and I don't have my engagement ring on, that is why. Um, Samuel is at work just now. Samuel got his wedding ring. Samuel's been so busy as well. Samuel had a stag do. Um, obviously gazebo, I thought someone was behind me. Samuel had a stag do two weeks ago. My hen do is in three weeks and we're getting married in four months. It's flying in, absolutely flying in. Um, and that's really all to update you on. I think I might do a sit down video about what actually happened and why we came off for a few months. I keep saying we, why I came off for a few months. But I think as well Samuel is interested in getting more involved in like videos. He used to play Call of Duty professionally um, and he did YouTube then. And I think that he's quite interested in documenting our lives together on this channel or maybe another one. I'm not too sure what we're doing yet, but we spoke about it. Um, yeah, I think that's a lot to update you on. I'm currently making homemade lentil soup and I need to do some uni work. And yeah, that's really it. This week's not much that's going on. Samuel's away to Liverpool on Thursday to Saturday. So it was just going to be me on my lonesome. So I'll chat to you guys a lot on those days because it's just going to be me. I'm online just now for uni this week because in Glasgow we have a COP26 conference which if you don't know is about climate change. It's about climate change um, and the whole city, the Glasgow City Centre has been shut down so we can't get into uni or you can but it's going to take, usually it takes me about 30 minutes to drive to uni and if I wanted to go right now it'd probably take me about two hours. It's <laughs> no, wrong, wrong, wrong. Good boy. We also had Oro at behavioural class. He's not a vicious dog at all. Why is it gone so dark? Is that better? Well, he's not a vicious dog in the slightest. He just is very barky, as you can hear. 
Um, so we took him to a behavioralist last week. So you'll hear, hear a lot of wrongs and good boys and thumbs up. <laughs> that's what we have to do. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to update you on. I'm just going to do like a... I'm going to do a few days vlogging this week and then I'll upload it as like a like a weekly a weekly vlog that's what I'm going to do but it is officially November 1st which means it's Christmas if you didn't see I was listening to Christmas music this morning Samuel's not too happy because he thinks Christmas should start in December and not November but have on it's me it's Christmas <laughs> but I'm gonna go and have my lunch and then I'm going to do some uni work and I need to do some training for my new job and I'll catch up with you all when Samuel's home he should be home soon so I'll catch up with you all then you know it's getting cold when this is dog walking attire and it's only half five and it is pitch black outside yes we're going in with the little one are we are you gonna do some of your techniques like good boy? Yeah. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's not even the morning anymore, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Um I'm having lentil soup again for lunch. Just worked out this morning. Um, had a protein shake and a yogurt. I usually have, right, I've got YouTube on in the background. Let me turn that off because it sounds like I have people in the house. I usually try to work out as soon as I get up, which means I don't, then I have like, like eggs and avocado and then have something else to eat. But we worked out a bit later today because today's my day off. So I had a little bit of a, a little bit of a cheeky lion. So that's what's happened and I'm just having more lentil soup. That's the only thing about when you make soup is you end up eating it for lunch for about a year. Um, so yeah, that's what's in the microwave just now. I'm just getting The Office ready. The Office is one of my favourite TV shows and I have rewatched it about nine times. Samuel's never seen it, which I don't really know how that's happened because we live together and I've watched it nine times and he's never seen it. Why is this not focusing on my face? There. So I don't really know how that's happened. You little man. You going to shrivel on your bow tie? Is it nice? Oh. <laughs> and then there's Darcy. Hello, you want your belly rubbed? Can someone help me? See her paw. She licks it and it goes this color. There's nothing wrong with it though. She's been to the vet, she doesn't have dry skin. I don't know if it's like a comfort thing. But she just constantly looks like she's got a brown foot and she doesn't. We were actually out for a walk the other day. I was out by myself with Darcy and Samuel took an Oreo and a guy thought that she'd had a, she had a brown foot. Oh, there's Samuel trying to phone me there. One sec. That is an angle and a half. We're having a bit of a fiasco with the wedding. See if I had the money, I would have loved to have had a wedding planner because that's all fallen on Leanna Wallace now. But yeah, um, we need like money for the lodges and we thought it was due 12 days before the wedding, but it's actually due 12 weeks before the wedding, which is next month, which is the 3rd of December. Um, and we are now trying to tell my bridesmaids, my family that are staying in the lodge with me the night before, that they need to cough up like a hundred pounds the week before Christmas, <laughs> which is is great. Like I love that responsibility falls on my head. But anyway, that's what you that's what you get for having a big fancy wedding, Liana. Should have eloped. Should have gone to get in the green. Anyway, I'm gonna go and ha I can't even pick that soup up because it's so hot. I'm gonna go and have my soup. I'll show you this. This is such like a Scottish tradition. A big bowl of lentil soup. Which is really good for you because it's got carrots, lentils, I put potato in mine, some rice cakes, uh, yogurt, and a Kit Kat. Just, you know, just wait for the camera to kick in. There we go. Hi, I've just worked out. 
and I'm home alone. I said the other day that Sam was away to Liverpool. It's now Thursday. Is it? Thursday today. Uh, I think I last spoke to you on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. So I've just worked out and I'm going to go and shower. And I have uni in an hour. It's 11 o'clock. I have uni in an hour. Samuel left this morning with his papa. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this new sports bra I got. So, it's from Gymshark. So I'm quite gifted in the upper region. Um, so sports bras for me are a bit hit and miss because when I'm doing like hit training, like high intensity, I need one that's like, <gasps> like they're not moving anywhere. But when I'm doing like today, like abs and arms, I don't need one that's like that, but I still like a bit of support. And this one is probably now my fave. It's got like this, this like, would you call that leopard print? Yeah, I would say leopard print on it. Um, yeah, and it's really comfy. But for the big busted girls out there, I feel you about how hard it is to get a decent sports bra. Because I think that some some gym companies think that girls with big boobs don't work out. Which is not true. I'm in this washing basket because and people can't say they don't do this. Every single person does this. Has a big washing basket to put away, but can't be bothered putting it away. So just get his clothes out with this. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to find my pink joggies. Because I'm going to do my essay today and I can't really be bothered being in actual clothes. Maybe I've not washed them. That's gonna be really depressing if I haven't washed them. Oh guys, it's not looking good. Oh! Hey, here they are. These are like the comfiest things I own. Um, I wouldn't say they're the most flattering. I'll show you them when they're on. They're from Primark. They're just like their lounge set. Um, and these are a small and they are huge. And they're just so comfy. And then I'll just wear like a wee white top of it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go and shower and then I'm gonna get changed. And then I'll catch up please. I'm out the shower and I look a bit more human than you last summer. I say a bit more human, I don't. All I've done is fill in my eyebrows and my hair's down. But yeah, I'm going to try and make something to eat and I think I'm going to have an omelette. Any time I say I'm having an omelette, it just reminds me of Pam from, not Pam, Gwen from Gavin and Stacey. If you've never seen Gavin and Stacey, then you won't get that, but it's a character and she always has omelettes. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do and then I need to get ready for uni, which is in like 40 minutes. Um, the noisiest toys ever are these antlers that I bought for the dogs and they're so heavy and they drop them. Like I was napping on the couch the other day and Darcy dropped it on my face and I thought I had a nosebleed. Like they're so heavy, but they love them. So yeah, I'm gonna make an omelette and then uni's in like half an hour. So it's gonna be a very quick omelette and a very quick eating. Omelette. And for people that know me, I'm not a quick eater, so yeah, that's what I get. I always run late, so I only have myself to blame. It's just us two. It's officially Christmas. The John Lewis advert is out. John Lewis Christmas advert is out. And I've not seen it yet. And I'm going to watch it. <sighs> okay, here we go. Nothing new, but it's so good to see you. It's not the best. <laughs> it's still lovely, like John Lewis. It's still lovely. I just don't think it's to the standard 
of like even the Disney advert. See the Disney advert this year, the Disney Christmas advert. That makes me want to ball. I'm a bit disappointed, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I was doing my whole uni lecture going get to watch the John, the John Christmas, the John Lewis Christmas advert after this, get to watch the advert. Oh well. Hopefully next year's will be better. There's not even much more to say than I'm a bit disappointed about that. Why is it so... I don't understand why they haven't used... Obviously, the pandemic has been awful. But there's so many different, like, themes they could have done with, like, the pandemic. Like, loneliness or, like, mental health at Christmas time and... I don't know why they've gone with an alien. <laughs> oh well. You can't win them all, can you John? Anyway, I'm gonna go and put the dishes away because I've just finished uni. Another day, another omelette. <laughs> I have eggs I need to use up, that's why I'm having so much omelette at the minute. I say so much, I had one yesterday and have one today. It's not really a lot. Um, yes, it's now Friday today. It's the only weekend. Um, I am going to try and bash this essay out today. I did like... He's definitely so Oh, you're not allowed them outside. Because we live in Scotland, if they take their toys outside, they are wrecked. Like wrecked to the point where they cannot play with them again if they leave them outside because it's so muddy and rainy and horrible. So he tries to take his toys outside and I have to rescue them or we end up buying toys all year round. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to try and finish this essay today. I did a lot of it yesterday. <laughs> And Samuel's home tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, and we are taking the dogs, which you can hear. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk. We're taking these little gremlins to Stirling, which is about 40 minutes away from us, because they're getting fitted, oh hell, with aqua fleeces. If you don't know what an aqua fleece is, it's basically like an all-in-one suit. This job you getting wet. Because they're cockapoos and their fur is so curly, when they get wet, it is a nightmare, isn't it? Nightmare? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to get them fit for aqua fleeces tomorrow. And then I think we're going to go and see that Eternals movie. We went and saw Dune, Dune last week. I'm going to be very controversial here. I didn't really like it. A lot of people loved it and ranted and raved and that's why we went to go and see it. But I was not a fan. Wasn't a fan. I don't know what it is. I just thought it was quite slow. Yeah, I know. I, a lot of people loved it. I just wasn't one of those people. But we're going to go and see that Eternals tomorrow. So hopefully that'll be a bit better. But yeah, I'm going to make this omelette and then I'll catch up with you. I'm actually going to see my friend as well tonight and I think I might leave a bit early and go to the shops to try and find a white dress because it's my hen doing two weeks. And I've been told that I need a white dress for going out in. I think you should find one. So yeah, I might do that as well. This is what a university student looks like who has been doing essays all day. I've just washed my face actually and I've got my pyjamas on because it's now 20 to 7. I've been doing the essay all day so I've stopped and I've ordered a takeaway. But it's the dogs, it's fireworks night tonight. If you still don't have fireworks night. The dogs usually aren't bothered at all and they're not and I let them out the back for a pee and next door are letting them off and I didn't know and a big huge one went off and Darcy got a fright and now she's literally not moved from this spot. He doesn't care. Like you literally not moved from this spot. You're okay. Yeah. Maybe when I go out with mama and I can hold you? Eh? A wee sin. She's got such a wee fright as well. This is probably the most together you've seen me this whole like week vlog. Um, sorry, I'm just stirring my noodles. 
Samuel's on his way home, he's like 45 minutes away from home and I'm so excited to see him. I know it sounds dead, cringy and horrible, but he's been gone two days. And it's quite lonely being in the house yourself for two days. I've had like, I could have gone and seen friends and family, but I had that essay to do, which I just tried to bash out as much as possible. Um, I still have like a thousand words left to do, but I've gotten a big chunk of it done, which I'm happy about. So yeah, Sam's on his way home and then we have the dogs aqua fleeces me to leave here at like three. It's currently one, five to one. So Sam is going to be home at like half one. And then we'll need to go and leave for the dogs in like an hour after that. And then we're going to cinema tonight, but I'm very excited to see him. I don't know what's going on with this bit of hair. My hair was all nice and like straight. And then I went out to the bin and typical west of Scotland is absolutely pouring of rain and blowing a gale so I don't even know why I did my hair because there wasn't any point really um, but yeah I'm excited to see Samuel it's been a bit lonely living myself for two days also I have the dogs last night was fireworks night it was bonfires night and our dogs don't care about fireworks at all like we took them out on fireworks night when they were little like tiny little puppies to get them used to like it's fine and stuff like that so they're fine and they were out in the garden and stuff like that but behind us which like their fence literally joined onto our garden like our gardens are really close together darcy went to go for a pee and was like squatted down to pee and they let off one of those ones that like you know it goes like <laughs> makes like a really like high pitched noise and a huge bang and even I jumped out my skin and Darcy like jumped like that and ran inside and like hid in her bed for like an hour and a half and like would not come out and even when it was like time to go to bed and I was telling them to go for a pee before bed like she like was like looking out the door like both round both sides and kind of just like took three steps outside and squatted and peed but was like looking around like the whole time to like be on edge and then ran back in it was so sad like we're quite blessed that our dogs don't usually care and that's like a slither of the way some dogs are like i know some dogs like proper shake and some die and have heart attacks and stuff but I, like she was just sitting in her bed she wasn't shaking or anything but you could tell she was just a bit like oh i didn't really like that and i was absolutely heartbroken so i don't even know how people deal with their dogs shaking and stuff because i actually think i would cry but that's a debate for another thing. I don't think fireworks should be allowed for public sale, personally. Not just for dogs, but for like people who don't like loud bangs. I just don't agree with it. That's just me. That's just... That's just my opinion. But yeah, I'm going to go and eat my noodles. And then hopefully the next clip you'll see Samuel. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Hi guys, look who's back from Liverpool. And I was gonna do like a dramatic introduction. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. You've ruined it now. Samuel has got the new phone. What one is it? 13, can you see it? 13 Pro, oh no, it's gonna be backwards. You need, to, you need like, yeah. There we go. Oh, it's backwards. Yeah, it's backwards. It's oh, right. the iPhone 13. Pro Max. What color? Sierra Blue. Basically just blue. <laughs> just a fancy blue. But Samuel has the his old one is the iPhone 11. Yeah. So you got a new one. It's a good upgrade. And I was actually able to sell my iPhone 11 and make profit for what was left on in my finance to pay for it. So I had like £310 left to pay for my contract on it. And they're going now for £325. It's a win-win, guys. So I was able to get a new phone for... I didn't need to pay any money for it. Before you open it, because I'll video you opening it and that, oh, right, we went to the cinema tonight. I told them we were going to go and see that Eternals. Oh, yeah. I was telling them that June wasn't the best one for me. You quite well, liked it, didn't well, you? Well, I would have liked it more if I had reason. Yeah, Sam didn't have forgot his hearing aid, <laughs> so the whole movie was like, what did he say? You know, it's another really ask you any questions, isn't it? I know, he was going, what did he say? <laughs> what did she say? What did he say? And I was going, obviously, I'm not going to spoil it, but like they whisper a lot in the movie, so I can really answer Samuel because then people behind me or in front of me would be like, shh. But I thought I was, like, I, that was just me because I was deaf, deaf, 
death. No, death is when you die. Death. <laughs> uh, because I'm deaf. But my friend Stuart messaged me and said that he couldn't hear it. He, he said, thought it was a good movie, however, while well, I'm deaf. And I was like, you know what? I'm not the only one. But yeah. I think a lot of people did actually have problems understanding what everybody was there saying. There was a part in it where Samuel said to me, what did he just say? And I did say, I have no idea. I, I have no know. idea. I was like, I have no idea. Yeah, but anyway, we went to go and see... Yes. Get that out She's had enough of this life. Hello, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went to go and see... Eternals. Eternals tonight, which was... I was really good. 10 out of 10. I was really worried because I thought it was just going to be, not a remake of the Avengers obviously, mm -hmm. but I thought it was just going to be like... Like a bad version. I thought, because nothing can reach the height of the Avengers, but it was actually really, it was good. really and, good. And it was a good amount of time, because it was 2 hours and 40 minutes long, I think that concluding the end credits, mm -hmm. which was 2 of. Um, but I thought that was, it was good and it, gave an, it was enough time to learn the backstory to all, like the actual Eternals and learn the backstory and kind of get the drift of what was going on and still have a... Where yeah. June was kind of just the backstory of finding out everything, I'm not going to spoil it, but that was the majority of the, just the backstory of leading up to... That's what I was saying. There, there's I, obviously, everybody knows if you're going to see it, there's another, there is another one coming out because it basically leads up to that, but like, in the first one it didn't lead up to like a pure climax that's what i said i said sense. i said like i feel felt like the whole movie of june not eternals i was waiting for something huge right. to happen but eternals was amazing the cast yeah. is so good it's got like angelina jolie who's the other actors in it it's really bad that i'm only going to see angelina jolie <laughs> the guy from game of thrones kit harrington he's oh, in it uh, and the scottish guy from game of thrones who played rob stark yeah who played rob stark in game of thrones if you've not seen it we binge watched game of thrones in the, what, the second lockdown? I'm going to tell people about this guy. Is it the second lockdown we binge watched Game of Thrones? I think so. If you've not seen Game of Thrones? Yeah, it was I, it was I. You need and, to watch Game of Thrones. And there's a guy in it, right? he's Irish in the, in the movie. He played D Durig, D Durig is his name. Mm -hmm. right? And if you're Scottish, look up a photo of him. He's called Barry, Ke Barry Keegan, I think it is his name. He looks like Method One Mitch for still game. I thought Without it was, the teeth, obviously. I thought it was Method One Mitch, the guy who plays him. I was like, ah, he looks, and I needed to actually look it up during the movie because I was like, I swear that's him. But it isn't him, but it's his identical twin brother. He's from, he's in Dunkirk, Sam, because obviously during the movie Samuel had to look it up. Aye, but, but, but see in Dunkirk, you don't speak. So there's no dialogue in Dunkirk, because they're not. There's a little bit. But not that much. But the end credits were good as well, and obviously, Actually, I don't want to say one of them credits. It's not a spoiler, is it? Because I knew it before it came out. For any uh, it's been announced. And any Avengers fans uh, out there... Don't say anything about it, because people... People want to get... I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't say anything about, about the end credits, because that's what everybody waits for. But yeah, it was really, it was a really, really good movie, and it said that there, there will Stay be a for the end credits. One. There is two. There's two. We always have to look it up, don't we, see if there is any. <laughs> how many end credits in Eternals? Or yeah. how many end credits in Venom? <laughs> how many in, is there end credits in June? Uh, <laughs> What there wasn't, was there? No, it's only Marvel that does end credits. But it was really good. And then we met our friends, well, it's actually Samuel's cousin Lauren and her boyfriend Stephen for dinner afterwards. Um, and it's actually half eleven right now, so it's really late. Um, but before that, like I said, the dogs went and got their aquafaces, which is the cutest thing in the world. We got Oreos, <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it looks like a baby gross. It's this little suit. And it's like red tartan, and it basically, like I said, it just it keeps. Oh, it basically just keeps them like warm and keeps their fur from matting. But I'll show you photos of them. But they were so cute. This is Oreo when he's in his. Look at that face. And then Darcy. This isn't Darcy's color. Darcy's getting like a light pink tartan, but should we have that's not getting ordered until Monday. The woman was lovely as well, wasn't it? They're called Mucky Mutts, that's what they're called. Mucky Mutts dog, yeah. She's based in Sterling. Lovely lady. Yeah, she was so lovely. She was really good as well, considering Darcy decided to poo, and both of them decided to pee in her living room. I was so embarrassed, wasn't Which I? Which probably was one of the worst experiences She was life. putting the, like, the outfit on Oreo, and I was, and Darcy just squatted down and pooed, and Samuel's at, she just pooed. 
like that. Yeah, and Sam was like, money. Sam was like, give me the car keys, give me the car keys. And I was like, you're gonna have to tell this woman because it's gonna smell like poo. So I was like, I'm really sorry, but Darcy's pooed. And she was like, oh, right. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And she was so lovely. She's like, I've got seven dogs. And she's like, do you not think they poo in here sometimes and that? Look at her face. She's like, don't tell me. But yeah, you come to see her though. You got your suit, didn't you? Yeah. Right. Unboxing of the iPhone. 13 Pro Max. That shows like a light blue. It does look nice. I keep picking up new phones, man. In case you drop them. Mm. Oh. Beautiful, man. Put it right back in, like this. Take that off. I see when I really get a phone, after a screen protector before you actually get the phone. That way, before you even put any fingerprints or anything on the phone. You put your screen protector on it and you don't need to worry about Oreo, stop it, stop it, mate. And that way when you get your screen, screen protector, there'll be no fingerprint marks or anything on it. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Protector, oh my days, oh. man. Did you can't track the camera, by the way. Okay, so I think that's... That's the way it is, and it's kind of, like, it's kind of like, um, hang with material. It's not actually like mirror. Yeah, it's like matte. Yeah. And then, I've got a new cover to put right on it as soon as I get it. Keep it brand new. The camera died, but we're back, like, an hour later. Ooh, I'm tired. Look at the time. Oh, it's not zooming in. One past one. One past one. Do they not give you the thing anymore, eh? Oh, there it is, yeah. Well, even Darce is tired. <laughs> hey, Darcy Marcher. Hello, baby ghetto. Oh, she's down. She's down. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. I got Darcy in my tummy. I just don't think you gave it enough time to process. I think the best thing to do is to set this up and show them tomorrow. We're gonna head to bed. Can buy this one. Face ID. realized that we didn't finish this vlog so I'm gonna finish it because I'm just editing and editing sorry I'm also eating a Jolly Rancher I'm just editing it and then I just realized we hadn't finished it so I'm gonna finish it um so I hope you enjoyed this video this little like week vlog um and yeah I'll get Sam to do an update about the new iPhone because I'm sure a lot of you'll be interested on how he's finding it and stuff like that um but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!